Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the former UFC champion and arguably the nicest guy in the sport. He is Junior Dos Santos, another one of these young fathers, DC, who has really been buoyed and motivated by having children in his day-to-day. -day. He's very nice, but he's also very deadly. He, he has massive power in his hands, and he's got a great ability to hide all of his strikes. He does a fantastic job of feigning with the front shoulder to draw out his opponent's reactions, and then he follows with that massive right hand that we saw finish Frank Mir, also the massive uppercut that finished Fabricio Verdun, and the overhand right of Cain Velasquez. At the end of the day, it's the right hand that holds the key to Junior Dos Santos' victory. And perhaps no heavyweight has responded to adversity better than JDS. He has never lost back-to-back -back fights in his mixed martial arts career. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 29, the Brazilian is 40. He weighed in at 238 pounds. The reach is identical. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 215 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Mackenzie! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior! Chicano Dos Santos! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Round one and to the surprise of some, he won his last fight by submission. So with momentum, he enters this, the highest profile spot of his career, trying to keep that obvious momentum going. Can he realize a UFC title shot by the end of the year? That remains to be seen. But if his last performance was any indication, the ceiling is championship for this young contender. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the front... Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's a tech armbar now. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, 
right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, good kicks. Well, that kick landed the body. Oh! He's jumping. He's a man. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, that diving punch landed. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. Nesse round você foi bem, mas você não pode ir pro chão. A luta tem que ficar no alto. Você só vai acertar ele se estiver de pé. Tem que ter muita atenção nesse round. Two underway. Big all puts land. Now we can oh, oh. lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. So there he's connected on a few of them so far here. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? He's gonna tag on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Down into his mouth. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Gets up again here, but hurt. just continues to punish his opponent with that hook. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He will not be able to take many more. He better understand that it only takes one in the perfect spot in your night. Both 
both fighters get up now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Well, DC, if you're a young striker, I would think watching this guy would give you a lot of tricks of the trade. Just beautiful to watch him work for those hooks. You watch him as a young fighter. You watch the little details to his striking, how he slips off. Oh! Oh, big diving punch to the head. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt. 13 steps in! Oh! What a fight! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 33 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, McKenzie. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. I was born ready, day one. Since a child, I was grown. I'm just me, and I ain't got no respect for a goon. Why not? Career killers killed by who they love. Brooks in 94 on the split.